perfect. We're here. And there we go. Hi, everyone. Jumping into also s uh, our beautiful guest today. Say hi, John. Hey, guys. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm playing the main. Jumped in, flopped the straight, lost the big pot firsthand. So, hopefully things go go better later. You can watch it on your Instagram. So, I'm going to play the WCOOP main event today. Um, it's going to be a chill, chill session. Um, and yeah definitely want to share some around poker code as well but um sweet sweet sunday I'm playing some other tournaments as well and uh, yeah let's see let's see how the night progresses here value bet the nine six let's see what he does huh interesting Interesting hand, actually. Against him, I tend to rather call in this spot. Um, but timing wise, I actually thought that it was more likely that he's bluffing here, but um, very, yeah, great. Well played, well played by him for sure. Um, I'll be, since it's a big Sunday, I'll be focusing on the tournaments and uh, might not be super talkative, but I try to be as engaging as possible. So you can also always ask questions in the chat um, and I'm reading it and see if I can answer anything. I have about a five minute delay because it's such a big tournament, but I'll be there. Sound on party. Oh, well, King Queen here. I think three bet and yeah, call is fine. Huh?
Yep. Live. Got it. Yeah, and that's I have a, I have a protecting. <laughs> I already reduced it, but at night I have uh, f dot lux. If you don't know it, it's the best thing. I just turned it off, and I was like, wow, wow this is how screen looks. It's like crazy. Like my eyes are bleeding. Might be an interesting hand to bluff too, I'm like, actually, not sure. What kind of hands are great to bluff there? I think this is a decent candidate, but... Um, probably not so relevant. I feel like this is the spot he doesn't last that much. Hmm, interesting. 
interesting spot for sure. Um, against this size might just be a pretty clear. Like I, I think this is one of the one of the hands that is like in this type of spot borderline. Like obviously. Um, King X is clear, and then all the mid pairs are also pretty obvious calls. And then it's this type of hand that gets interesting. There's not so many hands where it's like close. So. Very interesting spot. I mean, it's like some of his backdoor flush draws, which he m probably will not size this way. I think it's very unlikely. Um, it's more likely, I think. It's like a thin type of value bet, like King X type of type of hand or um, a bluff. And I think this is the most likely type of scenario with the half pot size bet that it's like King Queen, King Jack. King six, king five type of hand, or um, or like a bluff. Um, I think straight, he will probably size bigger, and back to flush, he will size bigger. So. Oh yeah, regarding the music, uh, it's like I have my playlist on um, on Spotify. Um, I'm not sure if I can link it. John, can you can you see if you can link it? Let me see. Yeah, I think I got it. Let me post it. There you go. I posted the link to the playlist. The yeah, ace-seven hand is really interesting. I think, um, I mean, especially especially with tendencies of players, it's a very interesting hand. Like, I just think there's certain hands that are just definitely less likely for a player player to choose. Like, it's just, I think if it's like three, four, or a, if he has 8-9, I think, um, just so much less likely to ever choose that size. Ace 3 here, very clear check. Got it? Yeah. It's actually interesting. Check twice. Um, I mean, again, one of these spots. Uh, uh, wow. Also, also pretty pretty close. I mean, the ranges people check back here twice are also not very balanced in most cases. Um, it's pretty hard to play, play this like this board um, very balanced. So most of the time I think there's human bias to just um, yeah to just have an um, imbalanced range on a river and that's why it's interesting in these spots. I think there's certain hands that are like very intuitive clear checks, like mid pairs, but then he wouldn't start turning them into bluffs. Um, then the better they, like the better the player is, the more I think he would check stronger hands, but also check give up, give ups, and then it becomes interesting. Um, I think, yeah. 
I mean, I just, in this kind of spot, you just want to make sure that you just don't overfold the spot. Like it's actually, since it's quite polarized, like it's not going to be so important what exactly you call as long as you beat his bluffs. You just want to make sure you don't overfold. Like that's the important part here. The thing is his jack x, no pair, he's just betting like on flop or turn, like almost always. So it basically, it, the next thing that becomes really important is how often is he, um, how often is he um, betting uh, uh, like thin for value, if he bets two pair, like that's always really, really important in these type of, um, in these type of spots. So it's really important to, um, like if you then consider this, he doesn't have that many straights, right? Like King Jack is a very clear value bet, Queen Jack is a value bet, or, or most often a bet. Um, like Jack 10, you know, and then it's like, is he betting 9, 10, Queen 9, top of hands on the river? Um, that's really important to bet that in that type of river spot. And then, it, yeah, it's just, interesting to think about how that actually turns out where i think a lot of players overestimate how often or what kind of range or, or miss miss um analyze the range of, of your opponent in that type of spot so actually now in hindsight i like i like a call i think i think call is the best the best option here um, Parties sound too loud. Yeah, definitely too loud. <laughs> I turn it off immediately. Thanks for letting me know. Um, yeah, not such a like interesting, interesting spots. But it's always it's always nice, especially when I haven't been playing that much to like get back in and kind of get a feel again for the game. This is also. Oopsie. Folding, but not the best river. <laughs> Let's say it like that. Um, kind of sucks. Always like flop was checked through and then. Uh, Matthias Eibinger is I am best too, I think. pull this in like whenever like we haven't done a super professional stream setup but like just I think it works and so I'm just gonna pull this one in whenever it's interesting
what's the best strategy to prevent tilting and yeah, no one knows we're all tilting hard um mushroom coffee it's the solution to everything I can highly recommend <laughs> What's up, Colin Skink? Um, shout out, my man. Man, I love this music. It's like I, I actually, I had, I created this playlist uh, when I grind that full time online. I was literally sitting with my buddy upstairs in our grinding area basically and it was just this music was 24 7 on i just loved it i still love it i just pulled it out again i haven't listened to it in quite some while so <laughs> Great register sound. Actually, um, kill or die. Um, any specific dates for the official launch of Pokerfoot? I literally have our testing platform right in front of me. 
Um, I'll actually have to figure out how I show that later. Um, so that I do full screen mode. Um, but it's coming along really, really nicely, actually. So it's beautiful. And yeah, it's almost done. We're literally like, we're literally last, last improvements. But the, I mean, it's worth it. It's really, I mean, I'm very happy. We put a lot of work into it. Okay, my friend Reiner is all in on a different table. I'm gonna let, give him this one. Can have it. Shout out to my my friend Blue Tom 89, legend of the game. Legend. Um. Yeah. So. Do know what's the best way? How can I show this later? Uh, yeah. yeah. The next break, I'll I'll pull it out. I show you guys. It's really, it's really nice. Until defeat don't play. <laughs> so true. Online poker is full of gamble. Can't deny. Can't deny. Which background is that? It is actually the basic Windows background. I'm old school. I'm old school. Yeah, mushroom coffee. It's, man, it's like it's a game changer. Real game changer. I love game changers. Really? Shoutouts to the 685 people watching right now, man. It's always crazy to think about how many people watch a dude sitting in front of a computer playing games. <laughs> Please name of song from your Instagram story while you're <laughs> dancing before a computer. Um, it's like it's literally I, I just told Jonah the story. I think I think I created my YouTube account like 2011 or 12 or something and um, I found this song called dancing by I think it was chrono remix or something and It's just like I don't know like I listened to this probably top five most listened songs now that you can't escape Billie Eilish, she's probably in it. <laughs> but it's this, it's this song, I, and I remember, I think right now it has... It has 360 million, what? Like, I remember, I think it's 2013, and I have a playlist. And... Yeah. And I made this playlist, and this song, back then, I swear, had like... Maybe a couple thousand clicks, and I found it, and I was like... I was grinding YouTube for for music to listen to it. I was, you know, I love this, finding these little gems and putting them together in a playlist. And I don't know, I, I felt like I, I made him big. I discovered, I discovered him. Uh, I would have loved, like, if I could have bet money on a song being successful, like I showed the song to so many, I was just like, holy shit, this was my favorite song for months. Like I just listened to it every single day. It was just, the music oh my God. Starting? Man, music label, Crown Up Guy Discovery, Crown Up Guys. Oh boy, music label. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hold that. You mean a different hand? Um, yeah, I, I do it when it's interesting. The guys gotta watch this one. They're forced. Forced to one table. You guys are forced to one table. I'll do my magic in the background and then I'll pull it up when it gets interesting. Oh, dear God, I have a hand. I might just rip it in. I'm gonna rip it, rip it, rip it. I'm all in. Rip. Actually, not sure if this is so great, but it's okay. 
we're dead. <laughs> Drawing dead. It's like, it's close. I mean, it's 30 bigs, but... I think there, it's like, it's fine. I mean, it's never bad, but... Call is also an option. At least... Uh, they gave me a chest to unlock, yeah, so... <laughs> uh, let me just quickly show this hand. So I bust it in the... Oops. Um, okay. I busted in the 1k. It actually shows the wrong title, but I busted in the 1k with 8s against queens. And shoved like 30 bigs. Um, it's like not the funniest thing, but it's okay. I mean, like, flat is fine. I think shove in that, in the KO is like, it's okay. We have top pair. Top pair is a decent hand. Yeah, not so fun. Not so fun. Nice hair fitter. Thanks, bro. I worked hard. Worked hard. Waiting. to observe stars from the US without logging in. I'm actually not sure. I think you can observe. Pretty sure you can. Pretty sure you can observe. Yeah, maybe you have to download like a different... Ooh. This is interesting. Give him the cold four. I mean, it's actually it's a couple of these spots, like, not such a huge fan, but against him, I think it's... I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty tight in these type of spots. I just, I just feel like people are, like, it's not a spot where I think you exploit very well by being light, so. Especially against me. I mean, there's a lot of things that come together where I'm just pretty, pretty tight in that type of spot. Oh, this is a great question, brother. Um, if you had Poker Co when you started to play, how much quicker do you think you would have gotten to the top of the game? I mean, in this specific case, if I would have gotten what I like the Poker Co like five years ago, I mean, or like seven or eight, like I mean, it's over. <laughs> like, it's like I didn't know, like nobody knew about Salt, or like just you know a handful of people knew about Solvers and. Made a good fold, but the guy made an interesting call. Um, who's this Jonah guy? Man, he's a ledge legend, legend of the game. Actually, gonna give this one up. Who's this Jonah guy? Uh, Jonah is actually oh, interesting. 
Interesting. Just played an interesting hand in a 1k on party. Um, but yeah, not not interesting enough to show. Um, yeah, Jonah is actually, he's managing me. He's just a magician. With, like, they call him the wizard. He, he does everything. Like, talks to a lot of people for me. He's, like, running my social media. He's set up this this spontaneous stream he's like helping with the poker code with my projects like it's just wizard fucking wizard he's my wags <laughs> the wags the they wags to my <laughs> to my fucking wags if you, know, you know. if you know you know if you know you know let me know if you know um yeah if i had to put i mean it's just crazy because i mean I'm not, I'm really like, Jonah knows, I'm not a big sales guy, like, I don't, I don't like to sell things, I'm just, but when I do, <laughs> because, I mean, I just, I hate selling for, kind of, or I generally, I hate, I hate it to be, you know, unauthentic, or just pretending something, I just don't really enjoy it, like, I can do it, but it really drains modest. me, drains me, modest and, modest. but it's interesting, because I have very high expectations, and I don't like to, yeah, actively pretend it's really um, that's I mean obviously I there's a lot of ways where also I'm pretentious and like I care about externalities but really especially when it's around selling and I feel like oh I, I'm basically it's, it just feels like a scam if I say something that I don't you say, oh this is so great but I actually don't think it's great it's just don't like it so that's why I love creating this course because I literally, we literally worked out as is often so um, it's really fun, like I, I never really had that where, or not often I think, where I'm generally created something where I'm like, wow, I really love what I created. And it's interesting because I think in a lot of other aspects, I realized also why Richard Blankenship. Uh, I realized why, because I think to really create something to like that is very valuable. Um, that that also that is like up to my expectations. I think you just have to be like spend so much time on it. I mean, if you want to create a great product, you don't create something outstanding by just doing something slightly like just you know spending a couple couple hours and like thinking about it and building it and then it's great. Like no, the best products are being refined thousands of hours and um, and I think. I mean, I don't didn't actively do it with this product, but I actively improved my poker game, and so um, like these thousands of hours, or like I don't know how many hours, like I think I probably played fifteen thousand hours of poker or something, and they kind of all go into the course. So that's I think that's the reason why I'm so excited about the product and ready to launch. Um, yeah, actually, I'm gonna go on a quick break, and the magic little wizard is gonna try to entertain. Enter entertain. Jonah, <gasps> the stage is yours. Don't smash my. All right, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Big, Big J. I'll take. I'll take over from here. Now I'm gonna try to add this music command. Someone said that I should have used Nightbot. The link? Oh yeah, yeah. You just want to show full screen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 we're adding the commands, guys. We're adding the commands. I know there's missing commands, playlist, music. They're all coming right now. So, music. Yeah, the playlist is coming right now. Okay, so now exclamation music. 
28. Damn, this place is fire. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, so many classics. Really like, hurts you deep. Ugh. Okay, guys, who's tired already? <laughs> who, who wants to go, who wants to go to bed? Who's <laughs> 9 p.m. It's bedtime. You got to win this on stream. I mean, most likely. Most likely. All right. So, what do you want to do? You want to show the platform? Uh, this one. Yeah. Just that I have the option to show. I think we just do no, but then it won't do it, right? Because of the so we'll just do so. This will be your full screen option. Then you just toggle it on and off. Okay. And then I'll go full screen, so then just take this one full screen. Okay. And you do. Big. No. But then you have to close this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it goes into this, this doom. That's <laughs> the, <laughs> the infinity. The infinity loop. We're in the loop, guys. Okay. It's Inception. Inception. Get the fuck out of my chair. Get the fuck. You can't swear. My throne. Don't swear. Oh, I can't. I can't tell, swear. Tell them that you. Can Is there like a? Am I getting banned or something? No. Is there? I think, I think, you, I think you should be fine. Is the f word? Tell them that you posted your your first hand of the I main post. event on Instagram. I posted my first hand of the main event at Fatal Homes on Instagram. Follow me. Follow me. Do it. Do it! Yeah, why so many KK? I got 5-bit jammed on. Yeah, I 4-bit, I called, I put out the cold 4 and he just ripped it. Just ripped it. And I was really close. If you guys wouldn't be watching, like, i just, you know, call, look into Ace King, go home. Are you kidding me? It's not working? What's not working? The music <laughs> command? Dude. Oh my god, Jonah, you're... Can I... Can no, I you can't. Go, go here on, on, the, on the bar. Okay. What else? What do you want? Go to the left, under the I exclamation thing. Ooh, yeah. this? Yeah, custom command. Custom commands. Oh, you have to on. Wait, one second. Go down, go down. It is not down. Playlist is on, right? Playlist is on. And music? Oh, it's because it's uppercase? Is it upper? That's the reason? If that's no. the reason, then that can't be. Ow. Why is it not working? Oh my god, Someone beautiful. Someone said Nightbot instead. Go to nightbot.tv. Right, but uptime worked, right? I feel like someone tried uptime and it worked. Yeah. Yeah, it actually worked. Uptime worked, so it must be a reason. Uptime worked. Okay. Can you give a relative amount of hours these months? How long it took to create the poker code? Um, who's your way? I I mean I actually yeah, um yeah I can. Um I would say we work probably a couple of thousand hours to finish the whole course. I mean it's hard, obviously it's really hard to guess because um, there's like it's literally like you have to imagine there was. Uh, 15 people film crew filming this for days there was so much work into script like imagine scripting 10 hours of like 60 lectures like imagine how much work that is it's basically if you imagine a movie it's like one and a half hours and the script takes I don't know like infinite time to to finish so it's basically it was it, I mean 
an insane amount of work by specifically Matthias put so much work like with this Google sheet with like tens of thousands of lines where it's like we have different images just like hundreds hundreds of images and then the theory and the math and and what topic we're gonna talk about or I'm gonna talk about and like thinking it through going it through like we sat here and went it all through and over and over again and corrected and adjusted and it's just it's i mean it's really crazy looking at you have this end product it's like oh, okay it's a couple hours you know it's 10 hours of content i mean and then there's thousands of hours by like 25 people that goes like the, the person who had to do the animation shout out to jan by the way amazing guy um i mean like hundreds of hours of work that just go into creating like every single so that it all looks nice and then uh, Jiang who had to put basically everything together then so that the animation is at the right point in the video and that it fits with the fits with um, the voice and so on and that that for I mean and then cutting all that rendering making sure that it's because it's lectures so we want to do it interactive and in small modules so that it's in the right spot as well, right? And that everything fits and then testing over and over again. And it's, I mean, it's really, it's really interesting to see from the outside perspective versus from the inside. So yeah, to answer your question, a lot of work went into it. And um, without the professional team we have, like we literally have an amazing team behind on all sides, like production wise, IT wise, Shout out to Master Hub, and Kate and Peter and Wojtek and everyone involved. And it's just um, crazy. Like without our partners, there would be zero chance that we would have done it in that time and in that quality. So very, very happy. Uh, yeah. Um, shout out to Narvik Like. Um, man, congrats. Paid his college tuition. Jonah, the one and only, AKA, the hungry man. What is it, the only thing it's, people remember? It's the one everyone remembers. Should tell them about the exclusive discount that will go away very, very soon. Actually, I almost forgot about that. We're not doing a giveaway. This is not, we're not the duck poke. Uh, we're, we're not, we're not blasting, but I'm gonna blast the discount. No, but seriously, like, um, I'm giving you an almost $400 discount. <laughs> um, it's an inside joke because we fucked up the numbers. And uh, I think it's $370 discount. And um, you can get it only now. And the link is below, I would say. Like on the screen. There. Below, actually. Yeah. Below somewhere. Jack off. I'm gonna make a tight fold. Put it tight today. Play it in tight. Um, yeah. Stand like standard fold in this field. In softer fields, I open this. Yeah. I'm pretty excited actually now. Now I feel like I the spirits. My spirits are coming back. For our the hour long grind. Oh man, winner eight 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 just asked the killer question. In your experience, what relationship does money have to happiness, if any? I should do a podcast about that. Ask successful people about their happiness. Once the podcast gear gets here. <laughs> the podcast gear um 99 vap asks how the marketing the digital marketing is going it's actually um i'm happy like i think we reach the right people um and i think yeah i'm so far i mean the community we have on slack is, is amazing like it's really i couldn't you know i couldn't think of something better i'm really happy with who's um, the engagement and like how everyone is, is involved. Shoutouts to all the people, the Poker Code crew, basically. 
Um, if you buy the course, you also get the invite to an exclusive community with um, me, Matthias, also Igor, Igor Kaikorov, a machine, like Simon by real name, but like a machine. I don't know how much he cashed in like the series. It's insane. He must, like, I think he final table with like a gazillion tournaments and cashed like, to, like, a trillion dollars. What? Like, yeah, you didn't see. I think he, he won like 300 grand or something in like five, four final tables. I don't really know. Like, yeah, in the last two weeks, he's, he's a beast. Absolute beasting. Like, crazy. Is, is this on YouTube? It's gonna. It will be on YouTube. Maybe. Maybe. If we decide to do it. What the wizard says. Um, donking here? Potentially donking some of the time. Some hands. Um, definitely an interesting option against this scenario. Um, but actually here I don't really know the theory extremely well of what GTO is. Like these are spots that are actually very, very interesting because I feel like people are under bluffing these spots tremendously. It's like very interesting how to proceed. Um, I mean, I'm just folding like three X, four X and continuing like nutted, nutted equity like I mean, I'm calling 5x with a pair, obviously, and then I think 6 this year is like, eh. I really think a lot of the people are just not betting enough on the turn. Or, or like, just leaving out some of, the, some of the buffs and just checking behind, so that decreases um, the range of hands I want to continue with. Mm-hmm. Why the name Poker Code? I mean, it's because it's the code to solve poker. <laughs> oh, we actually—I don't know. I've, I, it, I actually didn't come up with the idea. I have to say that we sat in a, in a circle and I think someone threw it out. And I was very skeptic in the beginning, and then I loved it. For some time, I just loved it. So. Man, this is not going so great so far. <laughs> but what can you do? I mean, here we're gonna put in a three bet. Hope for his jam. He can for sure do it. So. Man, some classics, absolute classics. When are you gonna show them the preview? Um, yeah, it's actually a good question. I mean, I can just we can be a little sneaky and show them the preview. What's the starting stack? Let's let's just say the starting stack is fifty k. Right? I mean, let's just say that, and then 84 feels so much better. Only now. What a sales pitch. I mean, I channeled my inner Jordan Belfort and just, no, we can do better. We can do, like, we can do better. Should we play the Richard video? <laughs> We can actually post it now because it is, it is again. Yeah. Is this yes. Should we do it or not? <laughs> Should we let the Twitch decide? Oh my God, Twitch, we um, guys, we need we need your opinion. Should we play this? Is this legal? Is this, is this legal to play? We have a uh, we asked our good friend Richard for a creative sales pitch because we gotta like we gotta bring Poker Code to the people, so he sent this. I'm not sure how, how this is gonna work. This is not gonna work. Is this gonna work? Yeah, it's gonna work. I just need to see the camera. Yeah. 
Okay. Does this work? Does this work? Yeah, but I don't know if you can play the other oh, one. Yeah. No, failing. No. I have to be on this one. Fuck. <laughs> is this Liga? <laughs> we have to. We'll let the Twitch chat decide. Tell Twitch them, chat. Tell you got post in the chat. We should post that. Video. One for post. <laughs> fire, fire emoji if you want. Yeah. Is there a fire emoji? We literally. We're gonna release in the next couple. Of, like it's. It's literally. We. Our timeline is actually tomorrow. But like we want to make sure everything is proof. Like it's. Like nothing is gonna go wrong. Um. Yeah, actually, I'm a bit sick. I I've been sick the whole week. I'm getting better now, but I've still I'm still a bit sick. Yo, shout out to Grips, the man. Um, actually, I'm not streaming on YouTube. I just uh, I'm streaming on Twitch. We'll put it up on YouTube later. <laughs> Louis B seven eight nine. What makes poker go better than other courses? You are a spy, you spy. Um, man, it's, I, I personally think there's, there's room for a lot of content. Like if, I mean, I talk to a lot of different people and I think Ben is a great player. He continuously has been successful. I just have a different approach to poker. And I think specifically, um, like there's, you can learn something from a lot of the great people. Like I would love to get coached by some of the best um, other tournament players in the world and learn how they think about the game. So I think in terms of um, like it's brand new, it's basically the hottest shit. And um, yeah, that's why like also Matthias knowledge is just mind blowing. Like it's literally like I've never, I've never talked to a person like this. He's so good at the game, especially the theoretical and we mix it up with my life experience and um, around reads and tells and, and also the exploits and the population tendencies and the individual player tendencies. It's, yeah, it's exciting. Um, Did I see that the late rage of the main is 22 hours? Yeah, I actually think it's until day two. It's pretty insane. Like if you, if that's actually true, I mean, I, it looks it looks true, but it's insane. I mean, holy moly. Okay, here, I mean, I think everything is viable. Um, check and bet. Um, Check is probably, I probably more often check than bet. Right now, I, a couple seconds later, I probably prefer check over a bet. Um, but it's, it's, it's fine. Like I think this, this is one of these spots where it doesn't matter so much. So these are really not things where you're gonna lose a lot of EV. It's just more important to think through your overall strategy and really understand how to play these boards with, with your full range and not make mistakes in constructing the overall range and then these individual spots don't, like DV difference is very, very small. Do you know this guy that is playing with the name Crown Up Gay? Actually, this is like, there's actually a hilarious story behind this. So listen to this. I'm in Vienna and there is, um, I played WPT, I think it was, in the Montesino in Vienna. It's like, this must have been four years ago or something. And like, yeah, four years ago, maybe 215, 214 maybe. And I'm playing bowling afterwards. There's this like bowling event and we're like, it's crazy house music and we're like drinking. And then um, 
we're bowling and there's actually a bowling challenge and so we're playing there and we're bowling and then there's this other next table where they're also they're also bowling and like playing and da 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 and then we like start talking to each other and there's like other players and then i'm like start talking to this guy and he seems really nice and we're bowling bowling against each other competing and then at some point we start talking about poker a bit he's like yeah um there were also non-poker players quite a lot actually and so um it was like yeah what do you do oh yeah you're a pro as well and he's like yeah what's your screen name it's like uh chronaf guy um it's funny yeah mine is chrono i mean obviously he knew me but um he was grown up gay and so i basically met the guy it was it was hilarious um so yeah i met grown up guy i know him his name is jay i'm not gonna tell it starts with a j <laughs> That's funny. Um, 91 Tower is asking about watches. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a big watch guy. Um, but this is my, this is my favorite one. It's an IW, IWC, and it was actually, I have a really strong emotional connection to it because um, I've been walk like it was literally this was maybe 213 to 14 in Vienna, and I was walking by. Like I was living in Vienna and I was walking by this IWC store every single day, basically every day. And it was like, for some reason, I was really thinking about, okay, how can I, you know, how can I motivate or, or how can I, what, what are my goals? You know, like how, what do I want to achieve? And um, I was walking by the store every day and I was just like, okay, I need, I need some kind of target. That's what I thought back then. And, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna grind till I make 100k, and when I make 100k, I'll buy this watch. And I think it was like three or four k. It was like a four k watch, four, maybe five. And it was black and like this. Thing. And I saw it every single day in the window, and it kind of just reminded me of, you know, I was like, oh, every single day I walked by, and I was motivated to to grind and grind. It was back then. It was around like reaching platinum and. Um, and or like reaching 100k vpps and really grinding a lot and especially in tournaments was very hard back then and uh yeah really want to make 100k profit and then i think i ch shipped the soup, um, tuesday for like 80k or something uh the super tuesday and um and i was like 20k left and then i grinded another two or three months to make the the 20k profit um so that was like Again, everyday motivation, just be like, okay, all out, let's grind. And, and then, I re then I reached it and I went in and I went to buy this watch and I saw this one and it was like, I just fell in love with it. And it's, it was interesting because I'm not, it's not about, um, it's not about the material thing around it. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't really care about watches much right now, but it was around, Kind of, I have this memory now, so I can tell this. Like this story, it reminds me of um, this time and how I really loved the game back then, and and how much time I was in. And every single day, I was like, I, I I was just happy with learning and playing and improving and moving up and uh, exploring it. And it was not so much about the money; it was just kind of a measure, like a high score kind of thing. And yeah, that was very. It was fun. It was really. It was really fun. So, um, yeah, it reminds me, and that's my watch story. Um, yeah. I actually think, like, this is a type of hand, I think. That's probably a flat, or... We are having a pretty sweet spot here. What bust? Amazing. Um, I mean, it's like, yeah, amazing. Um, I 
Had a nut flash in the 5k. Shoutouts to Achtung die Kurve. <laughs> Which is probably someone I know. I don't know who it is, but most likely someone I know, so. Take good care of my chips. Take good care of my chips. Also grinding, editing, editing photos. I love it. Different grind. Yeah, fire up the 5k. Back to flush draw open ender. Decent hand. I mean, just got better. Um. This one, you gotta fire. The registration sound. Music playlist is fire. Thanks, man. Worked hard for this one. Can you sing? Um, I love it. I love doing it. I love singing. Um, I don't know. I love it. I love singing. You know. I remember. No, I There's actually a video of me singing online. There's a video of me singing online? Somewhere? Somewhere on YouTube? Remember two years ago when I came to the birthday? Let's not bring that one up. <laughs> There might be a video on that. That all the Sherlock's of this world you know, tracking it down. Track it down. Pocket nines, decent hand. Decent. Real MVPs now. This watch story from Joey Farkas. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it, that was the only time I, I told it before. It's possible to turn off the chat on the app. Not sure I understand. Ooh, interesting, interesting spot. Squeeze out of the big blind.
I mean, I think this is his butt. He's like really, really. Like I gotta, I gotta defend this, but like I feel like he's pretty, pretty strong in this spot. Would love to go bowling with you. Yeah, man, kid cowboys. I just went bowling yesterday actually with my family. Crushed. Crushed them. <laughs> my mom and my two little sisters. Now my sister had birthday, so we went bowling for fun. It's actually nice. Yeah. I'm gonna lay it down here. It's not a very, it's not a very fun spot. Uh, not right now, thank you. It's magic sleep. This is actually really fun. I like, someone gave this to me as a present. It's like kind of a sleep. And I was like, oh yeah, the, you, you put this on and it's really gonna, you're gonna be more focused. I was like, ah, okay, for sure. And I was like, okay, let's try it. And it actually helped. It's crazy. It's like, mm -hmm. shout, shout out to David Lee, man. Um, actually, it looks really weird. I think the design is terrible, but it really, like, for some reason, this compression kind of has like a, some thing inside, like this ripple thing. And it's really nice through the compression, I think through also the ripples, like it's um, helping to focus, so. Yeah, it actually surprisingly helped. So I'm gonna put it on now to just be laser focused. Absolutely laser. It's game over. It's game over. Thank you. 
I just gotta move some funds so I can play all the tournaments. Xflakes, yo, what up? Let's check back the fives here. Check it down. Checking it down. Real life problems, guys. Gotta put the name on the mailbox. Interesting here. These positions might just hold that. Should have continued. Six on the turn. Always gotta sweat. That's really, really important. When you fold a hand, you always gotta sweat and be very angry when you make a really fun hand. It's very, very important. It's number one lesson we teach in the poker code. Video one, lesson one. Always be very results oriented. Huh? <laughs> Thoughts on weed? 
where to buy focus sleep where to buy actually i don't think it's released yet it's we gotta get the the promo the promo promo code for the the sleeve we we don't do giveaways we just do discounts i give you 50 starting stack was 50000 um <laughs> now it actually was 250000 unfortunately unfortunately it was 250000 we actually made some pretty good hands but for some reason, second best hands. And results oriented, not so great decisions. Should have played this hand. Damn it! We made a full house. <sighs> made a full house. Thousand people are watching. Crazy. Should we? <laughs> what they say about the Richard video? The, yeah. What? 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 What was the uh, the feedback to Richard? Did. <laughs> what? <laughs> it, has it been ignored? No. Can't be. Oh, maybe it's coming now? Is that, no. no, it must have been like ages. Wow, how's there no fire on the, like it's one of the best SVP of sales. Senior vice president. Oh, that's so slow. A classic DJ career. Yeah, so it's really, I'm serious, like you people watching are like taking the time and really chilling in here with me. Your special chosen ones, you get a $400 discount, almost $400 discount on the course. Um, I think it's below, so you can see the link. It goes to a special page where you get a specific a unique discount that's only gonna be on for maximum two days, which is probably gonna take it off tomorrow. Um, and so your chance now. I'm gonna show you actually. Let me show you. Let me show you. I'm gonna play this hand and. Shout out to Rita Connell. We doing the no equity bluff. Just give up. I think you should be getting uh, like most of his spade x no pair that are not king high he's, he's gonna start bluffing on a turn so it's basically pair plus flush or um, king high spades and i think it's not a spot where people bluff catch intuitively too much although i think it is a decent spot to bluff catch that's why i love to buff like i think it's a really profitable buff there just betting big and 
mostly people intuitively will fold their their weaker hands uh, more like the bluff catcher so i think it's a good good valuable spot um so let me put this and then we'll just go full screen right like this go full screen on the on the page first yeah. Guys, trying really hard to get my thoughts on weed. It's interesting. Thank you for Fib Fibbity Flap. Thank you for streaming. Shout out to Fibbity Flap. Shout outs to you, my man. Let's go, Fido Emily on Enko. Yes. Um. Are in the chat. You heard that one's for free. Free advice. This one is for free. Fatal Hall's gambling is immoral, and you're leading children down a path of degeneracy and despair. That's exactly why I'm educating you, helping you to turn it into a money making machine. <laughs> because we don't want the degeneracy. Is Poker Code also good for complete beginners? If you understand the rules of the game and the game, I think you will learn a lot. I can't tell because I can't put my, like, I'm not a beginner anymore, so I can't really say, but I believe that you will be able to profit off it. Why is this screen lighted strangely? That's actually, it's a program called F.Lux. Um, I use it, I love it. I would never want anything else anymore in my life. It's saving your eyes from degeneracy. was so good that I already bought the course three times. <laughs> Glad. Power user. Power user. I'm the move out. I'm the new move out. <laughs> I'm gonna the new move. shout out to Pilato3010. What up my man? How Joey would say. <laughs> Puppy! <laughs> what up? Puppy Pilato. Um, wow, this knit. Yup, I'm a knit. Hi, Akonishi. What up? The beats. Beats, beats, beats. Okay, let's see. Yeah, in the break, I'll do full mode and I'll show you the page. The platform, it's, it's been really, really nice. <laughs> you should sell the poker code hoodies, would definitely cop. I will make sure we will have a shot at some point with our merch. We've done we've done a black one, a new version. It's definitely it's very nice. I love it. Oh, this one is also a banger. How Mark would say, man, these photos are sick. Yeah. 
Nick, if you think the course is too pricey and what the difference, like you're asking around the difference between my course and Daniel Negriano's. Bro. Like, I get, you know, I don't even know how to answer this. It's, I mean, I think Daniel is super entertaining and I just think the course is made for people who don't really know much about poker. And that's also a huge market. And I actually, I mean, the production quality is insane. Like I think it's exactly the right product, but it's totally different. Like my course is specifically um, around, like it gives you the chance that you become a really good player at the game. Um, that you could, you know, like I think with the knowledge in there, if you work through it, if you engage with our community, I mean, it's, it's a different, it's a whole different level in terms of the depth of the content that's really so you can profit from it on different levels if you're a beginner or like mediocre or advanced like i think everyone can profit from it in different type of ways um but the depth is like we really invested the time in the depth of the content and that's not i'm not saying that uh, um like i'm not i'm not playing um the like negriano's masterclass down like i i like daniel um, it's just a different approach, different type of like, you know, they have tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people buying a course. And for me, it's really more the people who are really dedicated and, and want to get better at the game and also engage like, with me, with our community, with Matthias, with Simon. Like, um, so, yeah, it's just a different, just a different approach. And um, I mean, I, I gave coaching for thousands of dollars per hour and um, you get like all my or a lot of my knowledge distilled in a course for a thousand dollars. So I think if you want to level up your game, I think it's it's worth it. I won my first big live tournament because of your poker cultivator. Congrats. Congrats, man. Congratulations. We have the eight deuce of diamonds. Martin, congratulations. Let me know what tournament it was. Which one? Which one did you win? What did you win? How much is the fish? Only bets the nuts. Shout out to you. And thanks for wishing me good luck. This is interesting. I have no time. This is very interesting. I mean, this hand has a lot of equity and it might just function best as a call. I mean, it's an interesting spot in the turn. Uh, maybe, maybe it's better. Like, it's, it's very interesting. Very interesting. Um, this is a pretty easy jam. Interesting hit for sure. <laughs> interesting like a lot of interesting hints today here i'm actually really not sure i gotta check that one later i mean different definitely different ways
missing. Fifty. Okay. There we go. Okay, now I can show the page. Okay. So how do I do that? Okay. Now I Oh. Oof. Yes, perfect. So that's how it's gonna look. It's the staging basically. How it's gonna look. And so you're gonna have your account with points and you can take notes. There's gonna be um, different channels basically around um, different topics so pre-flop um, is one then we have everything around post-flop turn river three bet pots um, blind versus blind multi-way pots everything post-flop we have all all these pre-flop um, like uh, the fundamentals how to defend the blinds playing in position and like for each of the topics then there's also sub lectures breaking down the different um, different topics and man I'm so hyped um, like for example, post flop on the river, like there's always kind of introduction. I'll, I'll intro you and, and give you an overview of what's gonna happen. Here you can see like how long it's uh, it's gonna be. You get points. It's um, for a complete uh, completing the the quizzes and um, and um, then for example here it's like subtopics like seabeds and and probe and. Um, Let's check three bet pots. So here we will have um, pots out of position, three bet pots in position. So kind of I'm, I'm structuring it. So if you want to learn about a specific topic, then you can go in and it's like, hey, okay, I just had this, you know, that I feel uncertain playing blind versus blind. So um, I'm you can watch this through in one and take notes at the same time. So let's say we go into blind versus blind limb pots um, you will basically have you can take notes here on the side um, you have the different the different lessons um, and that's how it's gonna look and here you can start the video um, so if you go back to the dashboard that's your overview and then here my favorite channel um, which we call start crashing now is basically off the table there's a couple things there around mindset where I talk my experience around mindset, pre-game preparation, game selection, bankroll management. So these side topics are also included, and then live game. So here is a lot of a lot of uh, lectures around how to exploit live profiling players, spotting tells, masking tells, um, how to use your image at the table, and how I did it. Some some experience of mine. There's also an ICM section if you're playing tournaments, um, and there's practical play. So where I go through specific hands. Um, and comment and like apply the different um, ideas and topics to the live hands so that's also um, pretty great and you have your own account basically where you can work through it in your speed and go rewatch and you basically have all the most relevant topics at once so I'm so excited you can also save lectures for ones if you want quick quick access to some and yeah it's fire it's awesome. I'm really, really happy how it came out. It looks sleek. It's gonna. I hope. I hope that it's gonna. That uh, you're gonna like it and that you're gonna have a lot of fun with this. So um, yeah, I'm excited. Excited to launch this. And um, it will come out in um, the next days. Like we're literally testing the last last. Uh, time testing we're hopefully done uh, in the next two three four days uh, with all the testing and then we can release to all the people already purchased um, and that's why you get a discount now if you buy it now uh, the next 48 ish hours you will get a discount of $400 on it which you can get here somewhere here and you can check it out so if you know you're gonna buy it buy it now value if you want to improve your game if you want to like see it as an investment in your in your personal in your personal game
<laughs> Sean415 man, shoutouts to you. I hope your knee gets better soon and uh, good recovery. Um, Stefka25, shoutouts. What's up? <laughs> I'm happy. So basically, if you buy it, you get a pre purchase, um, like a pre sale specific package delivered, in which Sean415 just, just told about that you get a package from Ostrand to San Francisco. So we send it all over the world um, with some presents, a handwritten card, like message from us, a thank you note. And, um, we really care about every single one in the community. So you also get access to our Slack community where we discuss hands, we exchange, and we're going to build something on top of that later. So we're going to put more uh, more content. Uh, we're going to follow up with that. So it's not just a one-time thing. We really want to build a community around this. So if you want to be part of it, um, that's your that's your opportunity. My mom just sent me a message. Shout outs to my mom. Love you. If you're watching, um, I don't think so. I don't think she knows. She doesn't know she's live in five minutes. I mean, the price is also, we we really want to make sure, like we, we're engaging, we want to engage with everyone who purchases the course, like to get everyone together and build a really strong community because that's how we became good players and just through exchanging and um, learning from others. And um, that's why we want to make sure that everyone in the community is really committed. Um, that's why our expectations to the product are also so high is we want to bring out the best poker like our goal was we want to create the best poker course ever made in poker highest quality um, of content and, and a really nice user experience that was our goal and um, so we also want to make sure that the people in our community are committed like um, that's why also like for this type of quality yeah we just we just want to have people who really want to improve at, at poker Winner, eight, 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 eight. I love your questions. Um, very, very thoughtful. Um, if I'm here to promote Poker Code, I mean, I wanna, like, I. It's basically I wanna share more around something that I've put and like a lot of people have put a lot of work into. So I wanna, um, yeah, I wanna spread a message around that. So for sure, um, my my motivation is. Um, I mean, obviously, it's nice to be successful with um, like that. That's a great like that's really feeling great to feel like 
people love the product and um, are hyped for it so that's that's amazing like obviously that excites me a lot um, and it's it's two ways like obviously it's financial in some in some way so I want it to be a sustainable and profitable business um, but on the other hand I'm also yeah I, I love I love the result so it's, uh, it's actually I was very positively surprised by the community and the interaction and I really I plan on engaging more and we're thinking right now about a product of how like a way of how we can engage with the community more so I'm actually quite excited about that um, hopefully we can find a good solution soon here we actually have a pretty decent hand This is a spot that gets checked back way too little with stronger hands. I actually think that's a really great spot um, to check back hands. You can also jam over a bet on the turn, like with some equity and um, call with on the turn. Uh, Mets 111, he's asking if it's mainly for tournament or cash. I think I see it as just the groundwork of poker. So we have different big blinds in there, like 20, 40, 100, like I'm talking through different situations. So I just really think um, it helps you understand the, the way we think about poker. And that's like, obviously the like two are different since cash game, you mostly play 100 big blinds or deeper, but we cover that as well. And then in tournaments, you're mostly shorter than 100 big. So it's like, I feel you really, get a better understanding of, of how we think or how I and Matthias think about poker and the theory behind it. So I think it will, it's, it's valuable for both. Kazu 71 yeah, great point. I, I actually just thought about this when, when you brought it up. Um, let me think about a solution, Jonah. Um, Let's let's find a solution for that. You're right. Um, I'll make sure. I'll make sure um, we'll find a, a good solution for you and all the others. This is going to be fucking epic. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> Chris feels bad, man. Hey, Fido, when do we have lunch next time at the Yeah, that was really, that was really good. Thanks for showing me that. It's a great place. Shoutouts, shoutouts to you. What's my opinion on Jordan Peterson? Um, I actually really, <laughs> I really like the, the video of him on that news show. I think it's quite, quite nice to be like kind of, kind of an interesting watch um, for me. And um, in general, I, yeah, I just, I find, I can connect with everything, but I find some of the things quite, quite interesting.
Wolke 4, wird dann nie mehr verlassen, weil wir auf Wolke 7 viel zu viel verpassen. Ich war da schon einmal, wir sind zu tief gefallen. Lieber Wolke 4 mit dir als unten wieder ganz allein. Winner um, is asking if we'll be working directly with purchases. Yeah, actually, um, we have to point that out more clearly. Is like we have a Slack channel um, where over, yeah, like basically almost all the people are in. Um, so it's basically. Yeah, it's basically um, where we exchange, we discuss hands there, we talk about mindset, food options, um, like there have been recipes been posted, shout outs um, to the recipe queen. There's like some really, really cool things going on. So um, just basically now my plan on how, how do we do it better and, and cooler and more, more intense. Fader put 32 million winnings in title, get more viewers. Win of 32 million dollars, shares, poker secrets, playing of the, the biggest guaranteed number, whatever. Test that theory. <laughs> Limited edition stream, yeah. Cop it, it's limited. Ja, ich kann auch noch Deutsch reden. Le German. One point five million for first. Check this out. Pretty insane. This tournament, man. I have great memories of this tournament. Great. Did you get a bracelet? Great memories. I actually, yeah, I do have a bracelet. Yeah, you should bring it. Yeah, sure. Show the people. The brag. That is like bragging time. My watch. My bracelet. It's like. Uh, we're getting shoved on. This is how it looks. Is it just your yeah, actually. So, I mean, I don't know why I know this, but like, this is how it looks if you actually win this thing. You get like this little thingy here. Bling, bling, bling. <laughs> I mean, imagine I would wear this, you know, just like put this on. Have you ever worn it? Never worn it. Let's see, let's put this on. Let's put this on. Holy shit, how does this work? Okay. These mechanics are. Which one do you get a watch for? Um, yeah. Oh, so you have to put this on there. Close it. Okay. So now I'm like. This I don't know. I, I this is made for like someone who weighs twice or is twice my size, I guess. So it's like this is this is how the bracelet looks. You can't read it. I think it's too shiny. But man, I love love this tournament. Best memories. Like my one of my closest buddies, David. 
back then in 2013 won it and then me winning it the year after it's just so maybe if you wear it you're gonna be getting maybe <laughs> wearing it yeah maybe yeah so that's that and then you also get this thing here it's like kind of a ooh, not sure I can't really show it that's like a metal kind of thing it's also Card quite heavy oh yeah right 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 card protector actually yeah you know this stuff better than me um yeah <laughs> it's kind of a nice memory it reminds me of reminds me of the time back then you buy a wsop okay i'm stuck in this thing whoa <laughs> that was close uh, yeah, I also have a WSFP bracelet. Lucky me. But lucky. You can learn all this in the poker code. Hey Magix, no, I'm playing. Um, I'm playing a 2K on the side as well, but I just want to show one table. I think it's more chill. Shout out to RK7000. I'm happy if I can help you. Ah, oh, my nose is still itching, man. I'm been sick this week, on recovery mode. Glad I could make it to stream for you guys. It's also a great song. German, I think. Man, it's just poker is just so much more enjoyable when you play music on. So much better. Pocket easy. Trip easy. Check it back. Trapping all the way.
she's singing what a nice moment what <laughs> lol holy shit did this just happen oh my god no <laughs> That's not what, what I'm spilling for. <laughs> what? The what? Fuck? How did. What? What? What just happened? <laughs> what the. What? How did that like what? This is insane. Like Man, this is insane. That he does like that's That's like I was like I mean I I literally just I was like hundred percent I'm winning the pen. Like I didn't even consider not winning it. This is this is retarded. This is very very interesting i mean i'm not like i'm not pissed but i literally thought there was zero chance of losing his hand i mean yeah he can have six eight suited but um like i think he's gonna bet that some other time if he has a flush draw like he's gonna play it like it's literally three combos and he's probably not playing that line 100 of the time pretty sick pretty sick just busting that. Man, that tournament went pretty sad. <laughs> Sorry, guys, for all of you who got shares. Um, but that was, uh, I guess, I mean, you could see it. So I, there was not so much to do. Let me pull up. Pull up this in the meantime. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, Jonah is oh man, it's lovely. Jonah Jonah just did a photo shoot for one of our projects where we created a fashion lab here in Vienna and the photos look amazing. It's really nice. Get the same hand again. This is a 2K um, on party. Yeah, right? I'm so excited. Pretty. Chat is five minutes delayed seeing the the roller coaster playing like going down. Aces will be cracked. This guy knew. This guy shout out to my my Moni. He knew. He knew. We wish we could have seen that sooner. Would have been nice if you just posted it earlier, man.
Mark my words. <laughs> Nothing new, Booker. <laughs> so fun to read chat. Man, that's the best that's the best part. Everyone jumping on the Joker Stars train. Classic Poker Stars hand. Now I can say I busted with a set against this trade though. Clip it. Yeah, this is this has to go on YouTube. Like winner of 32 million gets gets like destroyed by <laughs> it's like Bracelet winner gets destroyed by in huge part. Like, <laughs> go set some course. In yeah. Code. You can learn how to play aces on pokercode.com. How to play the Hire him. I want to wait with the re-entry for now, seeing how everything develops. Because I basically have one table open right now and it's a pretty long grind. So if I bust this one, then uh, I won't re-enter right now. <laughs> what 
the fuck? Did I just, did you see that? Man, like what is happening? Did you just bust? Yeah. What? You had nines. Okay. I mean, now that I've been talking about... Okay, yeah, I mean, it's basically, I busted every tournament in like very quick fashion in like somewhat interesting hands. And I'm thinking right now if like how long I want to go because I basically have to wake up 7.30 tomorrow. So it's, um, like if I don't, I'm definitely I'm thinking right now, let me check everything. That's insane. Yeah, guys, I'm broke. That's it. It's official. Jonah? It's, it's official. I'm broke. I'm dead broke. I just didn't, like, I didn't know it's a four day tournament. I, I, I checked the structure just with Jonah, and I was like, I mean, I've, like, things planned Tuesday went like I have people visiting it's like I would have had to move like everything that's why I'm a bit hesitant right now to actually re-enter Best is already. Oh no. Let's put up our the best tournament player in the world. I am best. There he is. In the meantime, I'm checking like what I'll do next. If I'm gonna load more tables because right now it's basically the main like it's basically re-entering the 5k which I'm heavily considering right now depending on like uh, because of the four day kind of structure that I think is insane um, Fun turn of events for sure.
Whatever, yeah, I mean, as I said, like we have a, um, uh, we have a community, so just say hi. I'm, I'm in Slack, I respond, I'm commenting hands as well, and um, if you message me, I'll respond. <laughs> Running good. Yeah, it's really fun to see the five minutes delay, like what people are. Oh, everyone is reacting. Let's see. I mean, the next the next tournament starts in 22 minutes. It's a 1K turbo. It's basically this tournament here, also with a couple hundred K for first. Um, let's check the structure. Six minute level, pretty fast. Pretty starting. Yeah. That's gonna go pretty fast. Every day since you it's like ten levels. So. I'm from the start. Yeah. I've never felt enough. You show my heart. I mean, it's really it's it, it's so fun, like back I mean, it's just I'm really considering right now if I stay up much longer because as I said I am I'm waking up seven thirty tomorrow. And, you show my um, heart. Yeah. I actually gotta figure this out with Four day tournament, Jesus, yeah. The mushroom coffee wasn't a good <laughs> What can we learn? The most important thing here is to keep a positive attitude and be happy about it anyway. Like, no reason to be sad. It's just poker. Matthias has aces here, hopefully. Come on. No? thinking he's he's doing the math he's calculating he's just like sitting there and like going going he's going to the poker code and it's like he's look he's probably going online looking up the lecture how to play against four bets listens to me like pep talk him and he's gonna call with his jacks and just boom there you go hold Oh. 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 
damn it. And snap re-enter. Not even thinking twice. Talk about no emotion, no, no uh, feeling bad about no, it. No, he's not feeling, he's just straight. Straight in it, of course. Okay. Yeah. Guys, um, I'm like still don't feel 100%. Um, just grinding through the night tonight, so I'll I'll call it a night. Um, I hope you guys understand, um, and I would have loved for this to be like a a longer one, but uh, I just really don't feel like re-entering right now with the four-day structure. And um, was super nice to hang with you though, and um, yeah, thanks for thanks for joining and. Again, if you're if you're interested to get to know more about the poker code, it's basically um, it's yeah, it's it will be on YouTube as well, and um, on PokerCode.com you have all the info. And this link you'll get a very limited amount of time discount of three hundred and seventy dollars, almost four hundred. Um, so yeah, take advantage of it. If you want to join our community, we're in Slack as well. For everyone who purchased purchased it, uh, we can we can chat, discuss hands, improve your game because I think consistently improving and talking to other people is really important. And um, yeah, so guys, um, I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful evening and good luck if you're grinding. And um, I get a bit of a headache right now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night. Thanks for for joining, Jonah, and uh, yeah, see you all soon.